The algorithm of life is simple. First, we usually have thoughts, things that we think. Those thoughts are turned into decisions, what we decide to do with those thoughts. Then decisions are turned into focus. Now you narrow down the decisions that you want to uh, focus on. Now you focus on those decisions that impact you directly. Then focus turns into action. Actions then turns into future. Now we have maybe you want to become a CEO of the company that you were hired in or you want to rise up the ranks, you want to be promoted. That is the ultimate goal. Maybe you've given yourself like uh, you've been hired maybe as a financial officer and now you want to rank yourself up higher to become the global financial manager of that company and you've given yourself maybe five years that by in the next five years my goal is to become a global financial manager of that company now that is the goal now if you have that goal without deadline then that is just a fantasy right now if you have that goal of becoming a financial manager, global financial manager, let's say of Secrets company, let's say it's a global company that deals with tech of maybe Secrets company. So you have that goal and you have given yourself a deadline of four to five years. That is the long term plan. Five years, in the next five years, I am going to be the global financial manager of Secrets Company. And you make sure that you write that down. How does that come about? Make sure that you write your goal down. Make sure that you write the time set, the time plan that you have set yourself to become the global financial manager. So that is a goal plus deadline is equals to objective. What is your objective? Your objective is to become the person that you want to be in the next five years. Then we have the goal plus deadline plus plan. So in those five years, what are you going to do in those five years to ensure that you reach the, the intention so goal plus deadline plus plan is shows intention. So goal is what you want to become in the next five years. Deadline, five years, plan. What are the things that you're going to do? So these are the missions. Now, you're going to write down first, I'm going to do maybe I will, if you have done CPA 1, CPA 2, maybe you will upgrade, go back to school and do up to CPA 6. Uh, for maybe you are going to do a financial uh, professional course. You're going to do a professional course on finance. Yes, global finance. Maybe it takes six months. Maybe you are going to, the next thing you're going to do is get a mentor who is also working in the same um, uh, hierarchy that you want to reach at. Maybe we look for another company, look for a person who is a global financial manager. Then you get him to be your mentor. Then you get to learn what are some of the things that you require to be. What are some of the um, of the certificates? What are some of the requirements that you need to have so as to be accepted as the global financial manager. So goal plus deadline plus plan is equals to intention. Then you have goal plus deadline plus plan plus consistent action. There has to be that one thing that you are doing every day so as to move to the path of success. So your success means that in the next five years, I'll be the global financial manager of that company. So if you add the goal, plus the deadline of five years and the plan. Those five years, what are you doing? I have already outlined them. Consistent action. What is that one thing that you are doing daily? Maybe you want to become better at auditing. 
So you are every day you are learning something new. You are learning something new about global financial management. Maybe you are learning something new about economics. Maybe you are learning something new about global finance. You are learning make sure that every day you are incre- increasing knowledge incremental knowledge every day to ensure that you are at par with what is going on on the financial world so that you also become a um, uh, a global financial manager who is attuned to what is happening and who has a great business acumen and who can connect with people financially who have um who are proficient in what is happening in the global financial affairs then we have that what we call a personal meaningful goal there is that personal meaningful goal this does not apply only to those who do finance it applies also to those who are in business it applies to those who are also in business for example if you want to be a journalist who works at bbc maybe you set up a goal for yourself then you make a meaningful personal goal of you wanting to go back to school because maybe you reached a certain um threshold of education that requires you to go back to school and maybe up your education by getting a degree getting a diploma or getting a professional certificate that will enable you to acquire the skills that they are asking for in that organization so personal meaningful goal plus deadline you give yourself a deadline of 2 years you learn how to do photography, you learn how to do videography, you learn how to write, you learn how to do copywriting, you learn how to do skillful research, how to interview people, how to talk to people, you learn communication skills. By the time that you are incremental knowledge is seen and tested, in various capacities, maybe in the school that you have allocated yourself to go to and you have been tested then you are placed in a certain organization as an intern or as an attache so that you may be able to practice what you have learned it's important for you to keep um no not of those um of the stars that you have acquired for example you are professional um your professional growth can be seen when you go to interact with the people in the field that you've always wanted to go to you have a personal goal you want to go and work at bbc or sky or maybe an international uh, media house or an international media conglomerate so maybe you start here at the basic maybe you look at for look for a digital uh, startup that are dealing with the news that are dealing with um research on what is happening on the ground you can start from there and from there now you can build up your skills because you know where you are headed you know what you want to achieve then from there your skills uh become you become an expert maybe at photography you become an expert at videography you become an expert at reporting and writing then you decide to challenge yourself you move from that digital company now you go to a national um media company like citizen tv you challenge yourself you get the job maybe you stay there for 2 to 3 years then you decide that it is now time for me to move a threshold higher to my dream So you see how that works so personal meaningful goal plus deadline plus you plan and then you there is that consistent action make sure that you are learning something new every day because education is there for us you are never too old to learn you can always learn something even and as even people who are as old as 80 90 always learn something. thing every day so you need to make sure that you are learning something doing something consistently every day to improve yourself personal development maybe you have a problem of 
interviewing people in public or maybe you have a problem of talking to somebody or interviewing a person that you don't even know about a certain topic that you've been told to write about. So you can work on maybe um, uh, you can work on trying to, 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 to combat that fear that is inside of you. For example, for me, what I, what I used to do when I had that fear the first time I got into working in the media and working with the cameras, I would tell myself this verse in the book of, is it First Timothy or Second Timothy, one of those two? It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and discernment. I would recite and recite, and it would become a part of me. And the moment that word became a part of me, it came into my mind and I recited it and I believed in it and it came into my heart. From the moment I would meditate on it, then fear would just leave and I would get boldness to talk, not one person, not two people, even a crowd or stand before people and talk to them or interview a number of uh, interested parties that I was supposed to talk to. So consistent action, dealing with something that maybe draws you back from the dream that you want to pursue is very, very key, is very important. So personal meaningful goal plus deadline plus planning how you're going to reach your goal plus consistent action equals fulfillment. So remember this, keep going because the best is yet to come. Keep going because you're stronger than you think you are. Keep going. Every step forward brings you one step closer to your goals. Keep going. You deserve to see what happens when all of your hard work pays off. And this is from a book called Eyes on the Road. Keep going. Never stop. No matter how many times you fail, make sure that you are failing forward. Because when you do something and you fail, that means that you know there is something that you did, you shouldn't have done it. So you make sure that you take the right steps. Not to repeat the same mistake, now you're failing forward. Do something better. Become a better person. Keep going. The thing is, keep going. Don't stop to reach your goals. You're the only obstacle that is before you is you. That is me talking about the algorithm of life. So do not stop at any goal or dream that you want to achieve. This is Ninja Hour Collect, Lightcast TV with Inspira 101. Kindly click, subscribe, um, tune on the notification bell and comment, like, and let's continue doing what we do best. Peace.